What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish and Nuggles YouTube channel. Today we're doing another, well, instead of a state's question and answer, it's actually a regional's question and answer. And uh, who are you? Hello. Hello, Josh, or Squeaky. Okay. Um, my name is Sam, and I'm a Belgian player. I don't play that much, but I managed to get a second place on the regional championship. Oh, very nice. So, uh, what deck did you actually play for regionals? Actually, I played, uh, I say, I call it Vermi 2 Dideni. Or something like that, <laughs> because I played a lot of tags. Yeah. And now uh, yeah, the, deck, the deck is based around Verision and Size Method. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Now, why did you decide to play that deck? Um, why did I want to play it? It was just um, I wanted to play a deck that was just good against all the other decks. It's like anti-meta, a bit, a bit of rogue deck, just anti-meta, mm -hmm. and I was trying to do something around Size Method to counter Flarion and Nightmarsh decks. But I also wanted to counter other decks with lasers because in my list, as you will see, I play Verbang and I play Verision. So I think that's that was just that was was really nice. Or with Size Method, I could Lysan or something. I could poison it, and then they had a really hard time to retreat. So. Okay, that's true. Now, before we go into your deck, what decks did you play against in Swiss? Okay, my um, my we played seven rounds, mm -hmm. and my first matchup was against Evel Fulminatric. Okay. That was yeah, difficult matchup because Evelto was always a difficult matchup for my for this deck. Um, second, I played against Executor. Third one, I played against again again against Evelto Garbodor. Okay. Fourth one, I played against Slurtoad. Fifth one, also against Slurtoad. The sixth one against Lando 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 Crobat with Lucario. Mm -hmm. And my last game was against Evelto. So I faced. Three times Evelto in the first seven rounds. Okay, and what was your overall overall record in Swiss? Uh, my overall record was um, with Top Cat included was six one three. Six one three. Okay, so a loss. now, <clears throat> which one of those decks was the hardest one in Swiss to play against? Um, for me, the hardest one was Evelto. Actually, it was, it was just a difficult matchup. But I think the first two matchups against Evelto, I think the players I played against were not that experienced because they made some. Misplays, uh, yeah, I managed to win them, but I, th that's why I lost the last one against Ivelda because I played against um, Jeroen, Jeroen Robert. He's one of my best friends and my buddies to play against. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's just he's just a good player, so I couldn't win of him with his list. Okay, now uh, what was your easiest matchup in Swiss? The easiest matchup I think was against Lando Crobat mm -hmm. because I played Seismitoad and Mewtwo against Lucario and Landorus. That was quite yeah, that yeah. was easy. Okay. Now, you're on to top 8, what did you play against? Um, the top 8, I played, actually I played my first round against Sami Sekuma, which I was really honored to play against, and then he played Executor. Okay. Um, the second one I also played again against Executor, and that was again against Mees Brenningmeijer from the Netherlands. Okay. Now, do you want to recap your top 8 and top 4 game if you want to? Uh, my, top, my first top 8 game? Yeah, if you can remember it or not. Yeah, um, first one I played just against Sami. Uh, Sekumi was a really nice player, but as you can see on my list, I play a Victini, and Victini is just really difficult for those players to, yeah, just to kill because it has 110 HP. You can't uh, poison me because I played Grass Energy on my Victini mm -hmm. and with Ferrisian combo, so the damage output was just really low. And how did I win? Yeah, just I play Victory Star. So with Victory Star, I was just swooping all the all the executes. Uh, he played Exorosic, so that was a really nice card that he had in his list. Mm -hmm. So Victini um, ran out of steam because he had no Victory Piece anymore, and I couldn't play my Trump card. Um, but then I just I already made made three or four kills with it. So I was just down two two or three prizes, and then I just. Got the rest with uh, si uh no with Resion. Okay, so now you get in top four, and you said against Mies, right? Yeah, I, I played against Mies again. <laughs> okay. And it was it was really funny because I already played against him in the first seven rounds, and actually I dunked him the first time with a Verbank City and Laser. <laughs> yeah, that was just really bad luck for him. Mm -hmm. But I think if you if you play against Executor, you just have to be really fast with your Verisions. If they can hit the team flag round or a crushing hammer the first turn, you're going to have a really hard time. So I think that's why Victini was a really important card in my deck, certainly in the top eight. Okay. Now, was top four any easier or was it harder? Um, it was harder because I played against better players. 
But overall, the matchup was easier because I played against Executor and I have that Victini with Victory Piece. Mm -hmm. uh, if I could get that out, if I could sky out the first turn for a Victory Piece and enjoy it, I was just hoping to draw into an Ultra Ball. That was a really good play for me. Okay. So it was just sometimes they were just lucky with their crushing hammers and they just destroyed my energy that I couldn't attach anything. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I just started with a Victini and could sweep them and just manually attach them on the bank. So okay. it was a bit luck, luck based. Now in the finals, who what are you playing against? Uh, the final was against just Ivelto, Ivelto with Kelio and Darkrai against Jeroen. Mm -hmm. Um, that was a difficult matchup. I only had my Diden, but my Diden was prize the first game, so I couldn't go for the seventh prize game. But yeah, it was just better. It was just better. Yeah, was the matches even close, or did the Evotal just run over you? No, no, they were not not that close. Evotal was just racking through my whole deck. Okay. <laughs> we, we already played play tested against. Uh, I already played tested against Evotal, and already saw that was a really hard matchup. Okay. But yeah, it was just he was a lot faster. You could kill my, you could just kill my Mewtwo's a lot faster, and I was just playing them down. I, that night I didn't hit my laser, or didn't hit a muscle band. I was always twenty short of killing. So uh, I think the I think when we started it was seventy percent for him and uh, only thirty for me of winning. So okay, well, I, I mean top two is still pretty good. Yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> I'm really happy with my first top two uh, in the regional championship. So yeah, now. Uh, so, do you want to show your list off to everybody? Yeah, I'll show you the list. <laughs> okay. All right. No. Oh, okay. okay, so I played three Verizion EX, mm -hmm. three Seismitoad, two Mewtwo, one Jirachi, one Victini, and one Didani. So, that's it for the. Yeah, sorry, there's glare, but. No, it's fine. You, I can see it. Uh, so, that's. As for the Pokemon line, mm -hmm. uh, maybe you could play for Verizion to, to have more consistency, but I preferred one Super Scoop Up or one more Muscle Band, so it's just up to you if you want to play with more Verizions or more uh, Ultra Balls or Super Scoop Ups. So I played three Super Scoop Ups, which was also a really nice card, mm -hmm. but unless it fails, and it happens a lot to me, <laughs> <laughs> never, never, nevertheless, so it always worked on the good moments. That's true. Um, Four Ultra Ball to get your Jirachis out, to get Dideni out, to get Victini. Um, two switches. Three VS Seeker. Wanted to play four, but didn't have space. Mm -hmm. Then I played a Laser Bank, two Verb Bank, four Laser. Um, four Muscle Bands. Uh, you really need that one, except for uh, if you match against Slurtoad. You really want that Muscle Band the first turn so you don't get locked on that, mm -hmm. or a Laser. Uh, victory piece. That was my ace pack to play with Victini, which which helped me uh, really. <laughs> this was amazing against Executor. Actually, I tagged this card to play against Virgin Genesect, mm. but works against Executor. So, <laughs> um, support line for Juniper, three and two Skyla, two Lysander, one Colrus, and one uh, Lysander's Trump card. Okay. Uh, Skyla is also really nice in this deck to have search power to victory piece, ultra balls, get Jirachi out. Yeah, just like that combo. Mm -hmm. uh, my energy line was four double colors energy and nine grass. Okay. So very nice. Now, <clears throat> in your list, why did you decide to play the super scoop up? Um, because I heard about Slur Slurp Toad plates. Size me toad with DCE with muscle band that then just scoops up again mm -hmm. and then retreats where yeah the only all cards have only one retreat cost. If yeah, if you play size me toad you're not going to bench me to a lot. So you always have only one retreat cost. I played two switch. So it was just if you play against decks that yeah, for example if you play a mirror uh, against Toad and you could stall one turn, you can just scoop it up again. Well, I don't know, it was just a really nice card. Also with double colors on uh, Toad, on Mewtwo. I just really liked my Super Scoop button. They helped me a lot. Okay. Now, in your list, would you change anything if you were to play the deck again? Or do you think the list is pretty solid? Um. Yeah, the list can be better. But I don't know how. Maybe with... Uh, yeah, I was just thinking about playing one more d -Danny. I don't know. Mm -hmm. you, play, you play two non yax attackers. But for the Evelto matchup, you really need something else because you can't win from Evelto with this list. Yeah, that's true. Now, so I don't know. I'm still thinking about it, but maybe one more Didani. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Now, 
<clears throat> Did you ever want like a second Victini too, or no? Uh, no, I, I never considered a second Victini. I think one is one is enough because if your first Victini got killed mm -hmm. and your victory piece is in the discard pile, you already have to play Lies under Trump card and everything to get it back. So now maybe, maybe, maybe in this format with a lot of Executor, maybe yes, why not? But yeah. I only had one full art. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what was your idea to play Victini? Was it a count of the eggs, or did you want to use the Turbo Energize? No, it was really a counter to because I, w I really wanted to play Antimata, so it was really meant to be a counter against Risen Genesect, against Steel, and against uh, Executor. Okay. So I never considered playing for Turbo Energize. Of course, that was just really handy if you needed to. Mm -hmm. I only did it once or twice in the World Tournament to charge uh, my Mute or to charge my Parisian. But yeah, of course, you have that extra attack. But I usually play it for intensifying burn to get kills on a Parisian's Genesex. Because if you can get your Parisian with the Victory Piece tur out turn one against Parisian Genesex, yeah, you pretty win that game all every time. Okay, they yeah. can't Emerald Slash turn one or turn two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, turn two, of course. But. Okay. What well, is there anything else you want to talk about your deck list? Or I think it's pretty much straight. I, I don't know. I think we talked about most of it. Yeah. Yeah, I just really. I, I, I'm. Some some people say I just, I had to play three Verizon, uh, three Verbank cities, uh -huh. but I think two is enough because all the good decks play uh, Verbank, and then you just have dead cards against other matchups. Yeah, that's true. So, not really. I think four Ultra Balls really important in this deck. To get Jirachi out, to get D Danny, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, four muscle bands is maybe an overkill, but I like to to have a muscle band on my first opening hand. Yeah, so true. I won't get Hat Ringer or something like that because I don't play any card to get rid of Hat Ringers or Jamming Nets. Mm -hmm. Now, did you ever want like a third Mewtwo instead of the third Toad? Um, yeah, maybe. Maybe, but I first base a deck around Rizion and Toad, so. Mm -hmm. I prefer to play three Toad because if you start with Toad, you can uh, always go with Quaking Punch second turn. And Mewtwo is just for I prefer to have the Mewtwo in my hand so I can play it only when I'm going to do damage. So it, I don't I don't like to bench it without any energy on it. I just like to bench it, DCE, Muscle Band, Laser Combo, and then get kills. Okay. I don't like to lay it down on my bench or something like. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's just how you play. But All right. I prefer I think two is solid. Okay. Now, uh, I don't know, I think it's uh, pretty much the whole deck, I think we talked about everything right now, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think so. Okay. Let's see, yeah. I also t prefer to play one Colrus in the deck. Mm -hmm. Some people said, cut the Colrus, play one more end, but I think Colrus is just really nice to get 10 cards late game. Yeah. Did you ever want more draw supporters, or do you think that's enough? No, I think it's enough with VS Seekers. Mm -hmm. uh, I only place uh, eight eight draw supporters now, but with yes, you get three more. I never had problems with uh, support because I also play Jirachi, so I could always get a supporter of an Ultra Ball. So okay. Now, did you ever test a matchup against like Groudon or Kyogre or anything like that? Uh, no, not yet. But because we built the list uh, two days before the tournament. Okay. And actually, this was just a fun us. We thought maybe this this deck will be good. And I didn't need that much championship points anymore because I was not planning to go on Worlds of Month, something like that, or not going to top 22 in Europe. Uh -huh. So I just, um, my friend and I, we bought, uh, we built this list just for fun, and then I just had the boss to play it on the regionals. <laughs> hey, yeah, look where we are now. So. Did your friend play it or no? No, not yet. Okay. Because uh, my friend is actually is Brand Herman, so credits to him for building this list with me. But no, he never played it. Okay, so you're the only one so far. Yeah. Okay, very <laughs> nice. I didn't ha I didn't test it against Groudon and Kyogre, so I don't know how that matchup is. Mm -hmm. you just have to Lysander or Groudon and, and then Tice Me Toad until death. <laughs> Something <laughs> like that. Yeah, it's true. I mean, you also have the Verizian Muscle Band to hit like 140s and stuff too, so. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, so. yeah. Or you have to laser him early before he Primal Gra before he Mega Evolves, or Primal Evolves, whatever. Yeah, whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah, there's so much ruling about that if they're different or not, but <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I Just mag position. Thing. Yeah. All right. Well, <clears throat> do you want to give any shout outs to anybody else? Excuse me, what did you say? Uh, do you want to give any shout outs to anybody else? 
Oh yeah, just to my my team that I play with, to Jeroen and to Brand, <laughs> just because we play. And my opponents, all nice opponents. I was really honored to play against Sami Sekum. It was a really nice opponent, but and against Mace, Mace was just really had lots of bad luck with his hammer. So. <laughs> Now, uh, and actually, uh, oh. actually, one more thing: if you play against Slurt, though, it's a really, really difficult matchup because I plays against uh, Manu Riemis, who is also a really good friend. And um, the first game, I won 6-0 with Frisian. I started with Frisian; he couldn't hammer anything away. He didn't draw a, a flare grunt. Mm -hmm. The second game, I lost 6-0 to him, so <laughs> that was just a draw because the game took so long. Okay. Now, so how many championship points are you at right now? Uh, I don't know, I have to check, I think about 150 now, what? not that much. Okay. <laughs> this was just the first tournament that I, that I topped and did well, so... Yeah, well, are you going to go to any more regionals? Yeah, I'm going to uh, Merville in France. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, maybe, we'll see, we'll see. Okay. It just depends on where my, my, my mates want to go, because okay. I'm not driving. <laughs> oh, okay. Would you play the same deck this weekend coming up, or would you switch decks? Uh, I don't. I don't think I will play the same deck. Uh, it depends if there's a hype about this deck. I'm not playing it again. <laughs> <laughs> if there's not a hype, maybe maybe I'll do. I play this deck with some changes. We'll see. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for doing this, man. Okay. No problem. I'm glad I could that I could be here. Yeah. So it's cool. nice. It's cool to see. Uh, I guess a rogue deck to actually do good in the tournament. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. Alrighty, man. Well, thank you so much for doing this, and uh, good luck at your regionals. Yeah, thanks, man. Good luck with your channel. Thank you. Alrighty, man. Bye. Bye.